everybody, this is Steven with yet another Pixel for Life video tutorial. We're just moving right along on this theme, and I don't want to waste too much time with an introduction, so let's just jump right in. This is where we left off last time, <clears throat> and today we are going to hopefully, in 10 minutes, get the logo here and the navigation bar. So let's pop over into Coda, or Dreamweaver, Weaver, whatever you're using, and right here, <clears throat> this is where our... Uh, blog information is at. Uh, this is the description. This website doesn't have a description so I can just totally delete that and not have to worry about it. And for the logo, I can't really remember how to uh, how to get the image to show up <clears throat> and yet make it clickable. So I'm going to jump over to Google and type in WordPress clickable logo. Wait for it to load, and let's see what looks good. Let's try this one. And you're not really helpful. Let's try this one. And maybe. Uh, let's see. All right, so we're going to copy and paste this. And let's scroll into here, just make some room, paste it there. And let's see. Let's try changing this to um, images slash rulogo.php. rulogo.php or PNG. Uh, alternate text is going to be rank it up. Title is going to be rank it up. And then href is going to be um, let's see skbcg.com slash blog. That's just going to be the home page of the blog. And the width is Let's see what this width is. It is 256 by 224. So 256 by 224, was it? 224. All right, so let's save that, upload it, and cross our fingers. And that did not work. Let's try putting a dash before this. A slash, I mean. Let's inspect that and see if it's even seen the image. And it's not. Okay. Um, let's see. If we view this, let's see where it's going. WP content slash themes. Plus images. Let's see if this works. Uh, delete. Save and upload. Or let's just see if that worked. If it does, I will be shocked. And it does. Sweet. Okay, so all I did was add in this WP content slash themes slash ranking up. Uh, ranking. That's the folder where this images folder is located. I just put in the whole path. So here it is. It's right there. It's looking spiffy. So let's jump into the navigation bar. And the great thing with um, I just wanted to see what I just moved. The great thing with WordPress is that it automatically uh, generates your navigation bar from the pages. So this right here is a little code for a navigation bar. And it already has it inside of an ordered list links. So all we're going to do is let's see if we can get this ul a id equals navigation bg. Okay. So save that, upload it, slap over to the styles.css, and do id navigation underscore bg. 
and this is where we are going to put uh, this navigation background. That's this one right here. So let's get the information for that, the width and all that. And it's 716 by 60 pixels. So width, <clears throat> 718, I'm blind. 718 pixels, and height is 60 pixels. All right, and then background URL, images slash, and it's navigation underscore bg.png. Uh, no repeat, zero, zero. Save it and upload. And let's see if it worked. Refresh, and bam, there it is, okay. So now we just need to uh, style up this text a little bit. And we are going to do that by go in uh, UL, navigation, BG, li and the li is just the list the list elements and we are going to, going to do um, normally I would look this up to make sure I'm doing this correctly but I don't have time color is going to be white and you wouldn't learn from that if I did uh, font weight is bold if I remember correctly and display in line Uh, let's see what that does, if that even did anything. Refresh. And sort of did. I'm not sure why this testing zone is here. Let's pop over to here. And blog name, we need to delete that. Delete blog name. Okay. So now we want to... Uh, let's see. To copy this, paste it, and put an A at the end, which is the anchors, <clears throat> and the color is going to be white. Font size is, or font is going to be, um, let's see, what do we put? Let's just go with 15 pixels, and we will have it. Uh, uh, Helvetica Ariel Sans Serif. Let's see if that worked correctly. Upload it and refresh. And it did not work. So we're going to right click, inspect it. And it's not really seeing anything. LIA. Um, Let's try to change this to font size. Close that up and do font family. And upload that and see if, uh, oh, it didn't finish publishing. Great. Okay, let's refresh. And there we go. All right, so now that we have that, we want to, uh, let's give it a little bit of space. We want to go um, margin left. We're going to give it about, uh, let's go 30 pixels. Um, or, you know, erase that. We're going to do margin right 10 pixels, and then I'll just gap those a little bit, I hope. And then for this background, we are going to do Padding left, and we'll go with 30 pixels. Padding top, let's try 20 pixels. So when we add padding, we also need to uh, subtract from the width and the height. So we're going to change the top to 40. And let's change this just to uh, 28 to make this easier. And we'll change this to 690. Hope I did my math correctly. Save and upload. And my port stopped working. And we are at 10 minutes. So I'm going to have to stop here. 
Uh, we didn't get a whole lot done, not as much as I wanted, but that's the 10 minute rule. <laughs> we got to stop it early. So uh, join in next time and hopefully we will finish this all off. Thanks for watching and see you next time.